This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Guardians Crusade. I'm still exploring Triskin because it is such a big city, or town, or whatever you want to say. Don't think I've been in this one yet. Huh. Triskin in East Annex. This building looks new. Okay, so the inn's so big that they added an annex across the street. Not that big, it's just a single room, basically. I guess that'd probably be a high-priced one. Get your own cabin, basically. Private cottage. Okay, I got the inn yet. That might be the last thing we've... We haven't gone in yet, is the inn. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that that's right. So let's head in there, and we'll probably actually go ahead and stay if there's enough room. They talked about having a lot of people coming in. All I have left to buy now is a Kalkanor action figure. Okay. <laughs> so popular they got action figures of him. We're the happiest of all the couples in town. Right, honey? Okay. Guess he doesn't even have any dialogue, or maybe that was him talking. I guess I don't know which one it was. It's still only 200 rubies. That's not too bad. That's the same as it was in... What was the place? Den Helder, I think? Okay, let's go to the castle, see if they'll let us into the party. Anyone who wishes can enter the castle. That doesn't seem like a very secure policy to me, but I guess they can do as they wish. Look at that couple over there. That guy's got it pretty good. A lucky dog. <laughs> Why does he have a really attractive woman or a woman that's really in love with him or what? Maybe both. <laughs> What's so funny? Bobby. That boy over there has been staring at us for five minutes. You, boy. Here, take this and go get lost, okay? He hands you 500 rubies. What's so funny? That boy is still watching us. You, boy. Here, take this and go. Get lost, okay? So he gives you another thousand if you talk to him twice. I don't think they give you any more. Honey, he's still watching us. Little twerp, I thought I told you to get lost. We're trying to have some quality time here. Give me my money back. Aww. <laughs> Honey, he's still watching us. Beat it, you little punks. Okay. Well, we played the trick. We went too far with it. I would have stopped after the second time. We would have made 1500 so this is the world famous Triskin Castle. Let's check it out. Oh, 
Lucanor, Ramal, Gwyn Laden. Welcome home. I look forward to hearing all about your journey. Lord Kalkanor is truly a noble man. He has journeyed to the ends of the earth to save us from evil. Lord Kalkanor is the greatest warrior in all the land. Yeah, everybody else thinks it, and I think he knows it too, so. What? You rescued Jaddock? Meddling fool? What? There's something about that Gwyn Ladin fellow I don't like. Ah, so Gwyn Ladin is a guy. I guess I'm just getting them all wrong in this game for what they are. Let's go and explore upstairs and more before I talk to the main group and the king. That just wraps around, it looks like. And that's nothing else there. Probably the king's bedroom. Talk to the king first, maybe? Alcanor's return has made this a joyous day for the realm. Dr. Amal first. We must stop Carbine before it's too late. Before he unseals the... Well, well, I remember you. What brings you here? What? You've come to visit Jaddix, the watchmaker? So he came home all right? I'm glad to hear the good news. Enjoy the party, young knight. Well, at least Kalganor is glad about it. My purse! My purse! Somebody help! Somebody stole it! Somebody stole stolen? Okay, a little off on the translation there or something. What? A thief? Guards! Guard, seal off that exit. No one comes in or out. The thief is one of the people in this room. Do we know how, how long ago her purse went missing? The ring my husband gave me before he died was in that purse. I won't have thieves running around in my castle. Yeah, but if you let just anybody in, that's gonna happen. Fools. All fools. All of them. There are more serious things to worry, to be worrying about. This is awkward to say the least. This guy seems fishy. Uh, that's all he's gonna say, though. This is probably the thief. He's kind of standing off on his own over here. Burgi! Are you sure this is the thief, baby? I'm terribly sorry, but could you please empty your pockets? Darn you kids and your pig! He's still saying the same thing. Don't worry, no lousy thief is going to get past me. Well, it seems like it's quite clear which way he went. Nobody else is saying anything different, so... Let's follow him up here. Uh-oh, it's a dead end. You'll never take me alive. Sounds like an old-fashioned gangster. Time to die, you nosy little twerp. Yeah, I suppose if he was gonna fight either us or the other group, probably better off going after us. <laughs>
If he hits really hard, I might pull out tough wall, but for now, what I've seen so far from him, I'm not worried about him. Yeah. On behalf of everybody here, thank you, young man. Boink, boink, boink. Baby, where are you going? Come back here. Why did he run off like that? Well done, young man. Thank you for catching that awful thief. I'd like to give you this. My husband left it out, or left it to me, but he'd want you to have it. Ah, okay. Besides, I've got lots of things to remind me of my late husband. Good job. Good job. Well done, young knight. What about the creepy Gwen Ladin? Where's he at? Or she at? Or no, he, yeah. Captured a robber, eh? Aren't you the mighty warrior? <laughs> I saw the pig, or I mean, Sir Baby, run through this door. Yes, as a matter of fact, I did see a pink pig like animal. He ran right past me, heading towards the city. You're free to come and go as you please. Nobody else is saying anything else about... Baby? Yes, I saw a pig. It raced right by here. It seemed to be in an awful hurry about something. I'm thinking maybe it started... Maybe he started heading out here. Okay, well... The enemies aren't approaching me as just night, I guess. There he is. So this is where you ran off to. Leak! What happened, baby? Why did you run off like that? A pleak spurt yak! Baby. Are my guards giving you trouble? Your Majesty. Those gates mark the edge of civilization. Beyond that portal lies the realm of the wild beasts. This gateway keeps the monster out and the citizens in. Soon Kalkanor will rid us of the monsters forever. Clerk oik oik. Plug diddle diddle. <laughs> Weird language. Ah, hello there, my little thief sniffing friend. Baby, are you trying to tell us that you were born over there? Or koi koi. Plug diddle diddle. You are there, guards. Your Majesty? These people ought to have free passage through this gate. Your Majesty? I am the king, now do as I say. These kids caught the thief that was menacing Friskin. Now let them pass. Oh, thank you, your majesty. Thank you. Live long, young ones. Live long. Okay. Gates open and we got baby back. Have a safe journey? Have a safe journey. What's the sign say? North. Garam. Road closed. West Triskin. I actually am at least going to go back, though, to stay at the inn. I think I am also going to get one of the rings. I can afford it, so. I thought about waiting, but. Well, for that matter, let me check that 
water ring. What's that gonna do for me? Can I equip it as an actual ring? Powers you up against fire elements. Okay. I'll hold on to it. And if I know I'm gonna face an enemy that's gonna use fire, I suppose, it'd be good to put that on. My store is finally starting to catch on. I just hope everything is going well over at my brother's place. So, can I interest you in anything today? Sounded like they were at odds with each other before, but now, not so much. Actually, that gives me an idea though, too. I don't know if I paid attention to what rings the brother had for sale, so maybe I should check that shop out. Okay, so the same thing. My store is finally starting to show some profit. Just hope everything is going well over at my brother's place. So, can I interest you in anything today? Okay, so confusion and paralysis. Yeah, those are the kind of things I want to. I would want to guard against most here. Confusion really sucks because we end up hurting each other. So. I'll try to get rid of that here if I can, and oh, I can. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason it seems like they have weaker enemies on the other side of the town here than what we had to face getting into town, so I guess if you want to go back and fight some of those tougher guys, we can do that. Because I'm pretty sure we we weren't even at the point yet where they were running away from me before I got into town, and we haven't gained any levels since then. Unless, like, Baby actually gained a level through that monster training I had him do, but I don't think so. I don't need to save again yet. I don't think... Probably famous last words. But when you get wiped out, it seems like you just go back to the last time you stayed at an inn anyway, so I think that's mostly meant for the times when you actually turn the game off and come back to it. And in a lot of these times in between sessions, I just keep going and cut off in between. Yeah, we're still 30 and 31, so that's where we were. Luck is not bad for both of us. I see an enemy out here. I might try to attack it just to see what actually, what kind of enemies we actually have over here. Eh, I'm not going to go out of my way to find them, though. So pretty sure we want to just keep going now. Okay. So it said Garam. I think that's. Oh. Yeah. Notice how pissed off looking that guy looks. I think that means because they are actually that much higher level than what we should probably be facing. So. See how we do here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that much worse than the Bobo Dragon as far as the damage it does to me. Tortaurus. Dinosaur Tortoise? Something like that. So this is probably going to be an area where I'm going to need to level up two or three more levels before I move on. I mean, I'll keep trying to make my way through this pass to the next town, but once we get there, yeah, I might take some 
take some time to do some leveling. Okay, that's a lot of money. I didn't see how much experience it gave me. I guess I clicked through it too soon. But I'm sure we'll run into another one of those guys. Yeah. They're more of a whitish color, kind of like the ones that run from me, but they got the big red eyes. Get Marilyn. Probably should have put Tough Wall out on Baby. I'll do it for the next encounter I get with one of these guys. If we get another one. We should be almost done. Yeah. Might try something else next time. Maybe I can see if I can, like, put that guy to confuse status or sleep or something. Well, 2,200 experience. Yeah, so that's, that's really good. And, yeah, there we go. Level up. Have one hamburger. Use that up. I can see another town over there already, so we're getting pretty close to it. Or at least I, if that's a town, I guess it could be a dungeon or something, but I think there's a town coming up. Let's see who... Hey, that puts old group to sleep. Do I have one that just does it to one, though? Yeah. Okay, and that's only one target. Or that's half the psychic points. The other one didn't cost that much either, but let's see if this works. Oh yeah, Freud hypnotizes. Now, as long as physical attacks don't wake him up. Eh? And so far, at least. Let's see how long sleep lasts. Yeah, I thought I remembered that working here, so I'm glad I figured that out again, remembered it. So I guess that would be a, a good tactic to use to get some fast leveling up done around here. And are those the only guys we're going to see around here? That seems like it. Freud. There we go. Because as long as the sleep lands on the first hit here, the enemy doesn't even get a turn. And for two psychic points, yeah. I could use that 53 times if I had full psychic points. Oh, he did wake up. So, it's not quite as foolproof as I thought, but still pretty good. Let's look at my map.
Okay, so yeah, there is this place over here. I think that is another town. And then there's one farther to the north yet. It's I, That might be a town too. And then maybe the the area in the, the small rectangle in the circular area to the north of the continent. If I remember right, I think that might actually be God's Tower. So we just have to make our way through the continent and get there. You might wonder, like, why didn't we get off on a beach closer to it, maybe? I don't think you can do that. At least I always remember taking the whole trip here. I'm just gonna... Yeah, if I see any enemies, I'll go after them, but... Otherwise, we're just going to head to the town. East Garam, North Denvrado. Well, this isn't a white one now, so is this a different enemy? Or Because I don't think I leveled up after that last fight, so this must be something different. Ah, one of these guys again. I doubt if the sleep works on him, but let's check it out. If that works that easily, sleep is kind of broken in this game. But I think other than areas where I'm trying to like do some quick level grinding, I probably won't use it for the most part. Unless I'm getting really close to running out of resources and I'm in trouble in an area. Okay, so this is more of a, a country village, I would suppose. Looks like got a very short fence around the place. The last earthquake caused a rock slide that completely blocks the road to Dimbrado. I've been working for days to clear away the rocks, and now every muscle in my body is killing me. I gotta take a couple days off and let my body recover. Well, I don't care if you have to go to God's... If you have to go to the God's Tower. I'm telling you, that road isn't going to be cleared out until I get a few days off to rest up. If you don't like it, tough. Okay. I can see where he's coming from. But once again, it's like, okay, well, what are we supposed to do? Can't we just clear the road out, maybe? I suppose that means, yeah, if I went farther and I tried to look, it would just be a blocked path. I don't see very many other people outside of town here, or in the town, outside. Anne's father. Young man, excuse me, Sir Knight. Please, save my daughter. My poor girl has been attacked by a giant. Oh, please help her. Giant? The earthquake a few days ago caused part of the cliff here to fall into the ocean. It also opened up an entrance, the entrance to a cave. I told her not to, but she went anyway. She was playing explorer. Playing explorer? Yes, it's a game that Billy and Ann like to play to explore new places. They went into the cave, but only little Billy was able to run away from the giant in the cave. They sealed it in. But my Ann is still in there. My poor Ann. Poor Ann. That's awful. I snuck up here after the others left and unsealed the cave. I don't have much hope against a giant, though. But you... You look like a knight. I'm begging you, please save her. Her. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please save my daughter, please. Well, not right away, but yeah, we'll go do that. First, I gotta explore your town, though. We usually have a furfish party this time of the year. But we don't have any furfish. Maybe there won't be any furfish this year. And I guess we can't have our party. So maybe this is the other place in the world where the furfish migrate to and from, with the other place being San Claria, where we started at, kinda. I ask you, is it fair that we don't have a beach? 
All we have are these stupid cliffs. How am I supposed to go for a swim with no beach? Where is my white sand beach? Where? I want to be lying on a beautiful sandy beach and have a big tanned hunk with blue eyes stroll up and ask me out. Who am I kidding? I'll never get out of this dumb town. I guess a... A woman can dream. <laughs> okay, that's out of town here. Been a lot of strange noises coming from this building recently. I tried looking in through the, this window, but I couldn't see much. I don't know what's going on in there. People enter the cult, but nobody ever comes back. Ah, another Artema building. Have you heard the legend about the giant? I guess our giant is more famous than I thought. Well, I mean, I just heard the guy talking about him. What, what if she says no? Well, it goes like this. A long time ago, a god and five of his most loyal servants defeated this horrid demon by sealing it into a small pyramid. One of the servants was this white giant. The white giant was then ordered to live somewhere here in Garum. Okay, well... Sounds like it's a good guy then, or... or used to be. What have you got with you there? Amazing. Pink, too. We don't get a chance to see too many non-humans here. We haven't had Earthquake that strong in a long time. It even caused a landslide. You should go take a look at the landslide over there. Yeah, I think I saw one more guy outside here. That's probably it. I've been living here so long that I don't know what's popular right now in the outside world. What's cool nowadays? Collecting living toys? Interesting. What's a living toy? Do you have any living toys with you that you could show me? Wow, this is a living toy, eh? It's sort of like a big egg. I like it. I'm gonna go find some for myself. Hmm. Wonder if that means later he'll have a living toy that he'll give us. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today, though. So we'll pick up here next time, and I'll start going into the buildings and exploring Garam, and, and then we'll go try to save Anne from the giant, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow, and we'll catch you next time.